What's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, then welcome. I'm Sabrina Amarija here on YouTube. And today I'm doing a prom makeup look and it's going to be a makeup look on this bronzy, glowy, glam with a bright lip. At the end of the video, I also show you how this looks with more of a glossy neutral lip as well. I feel like if I were to go to prom or redo prom, I would do a makeup look like this. Like very glowy, bronze with a little bit of glam on the eyes and maybe like a bold lip. But yeah, I'm also going to be doing a giveaway towards the end of the video, so make sure you stick around until the end if you want to enter my prom giveaway. But other than that, I hope you guys enjoy the video, and let's go ahead and jump right in. I'm actually going to start off with my base first. So instead of starting off with my eyebrows and my eyes, I'm going to start off with foundation, and I'm using one of my favorites. I'm totally holding it wrong. I'm using... My Lancome Taint Idol, Taunt Idol, I'm not exactly sure how it's pronounced, but I've been using this foundation for a while. If you've been following me for a while, you know that this is one of my favorites. And this is already a 24-hour mattifying, long-wearing, long-lasting, all that kind of stuff foundation. So I'm not going to prime my skin. I'm just going to go in with the foundation straight away. You can definitely prime if you would like to or if you feel like your makeup lasts a lot longer that way. But for a moi, I'm just going to go right in. I'm applying it with a beauty blender. I'm just going to tap it all into my skin. Now this foundation does have about, it, it can go up to a full coverage. For me, I kind of have to build it up around my scarring area. And in any of the areas where I do need a little bit more coverage, my hair looks a hot freaking mess all the time. Um... Anywho, in the areas where I do need a little bit more coverage, I'm going to go in with the same foundation but in the stick version. And this gives a little bit more coverage straight away. So for me, I just apply it mainly on the cheek area because that's where I have all the scars. And to blend this part out, I'm using a brush because I don't want to take away any of the coverage. And this color is a little bit on the warmer side for me. It's a little bit more yellow, so I make sure to blend it everywhere. And by the way, this foundation is good for photos. I've never gotten flashback with this foundation and I, I personally think it looks nice in photos, which is why I'm using it for this kind of makeup look. I'm gonna go ahead and get started on my eye makeup. And for my crease color, I'm just using a bronzer. I'm using Give Me Sun by MAC. You can use any kind of bronzer. It doesn't have to be this one or you can use a transition color, whatever you want. But since I am doing a very warm tone, glowy look, I prefer to use more of a bronzer. So I'm just gonna take that and brush it all in my crease area and since we already applied foundation on the lids that kind of acts as an eyeshadow base I don't want to go in with something like max soft ochre because this looks a little bit more on the subtle side I forgot to set my eyelids before applying my my crease color and I can feel that it's a little bit harder to blend because I forgot to set it from here, I'm going to take a deeper brown and I'm using Coco Bear from Makeup Geek. And I'm using the same brush. This is my Morphe M441. And I'm just going to tap that in and kind of smoke it out a little tiny bit with this brown. I mean, you can really smoke this out if you want to. But for me, I'm just kind of giving my eyes a little tiny bit more dimension. And for my eyelids, I'm trying out this bronzy coppery color from ColourPop. I just bought it. I got it in the mail yesterday. And it's in the color Game Phase. You can see how pretty that looks. It's a little bit more on the copper side, so I'm going to try to compromise and make it a little bit more on the goldish side. You guys are going to see what I'm talking about. And of course, to blend the ColourPop shadow with the other shadows, I'm just taking my crease brush and blending it all together. So you can see it's a little bit more orangey copper which is fine because like I said, I'm gonna add a little bit of gold to it so that it goes with the dress that I'm gonna be wearing. And the gold we're applying is also gonna give us a little bit more of like a wet eyelid kind of look. I've used this on clients a ton and it looks really good. So this is a Midnight Cowboy Heavy Metal Glitter Eyeliner from Urban Decay. What I'm gonna do is take a shading brush and tap it onto the eyeliner and then tap it onto my eyelid. I'm only trying to add a few little specks. I don't want it to be like a chunky glittery look, if that makes any sense. See how that gives kind of like a wet eyelid look even though it's glitter? And you can bring that glitter up as high as you would like to. For me, I am gonna bring it a little bit higher than this one because I want it to show up a little bit more even when my eyes are open. 
So first we're going to conceal and I'm using my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in the color Medium. Just taking a little bit of that and mainly applying it in the inner corner of my eye for the coverage. Oops, a little too much, but that's fine. And then from there, over top of that, and a little bit more outward, I'm using my Bare Minerals Bare Skin because this one's a little bit more hydrating and a little bit more dewy and glowy. This is also in the shade Medium. To set that in place, I'm using my Airspun Powder. I'm also setting the rest of my face with my Airspun. Actually, I think now's a good time to do my eyebrows because they are looking a little bit non-existent so we're gonna go ahead and use Cabral from Benefit okay now that my eyebrows are on we're gonna go ahead and bronze because my face looks a little bit too one dimensional so I'm using MAC Mineral Light Skin Finish and Give Me Sun and since I did set my entire face with my translucent powder I'm able to go ahead and actually buff this into my skin typically I like to tap but I set my entire face so should be fine and we are gonna be glowing today I'm trying out this ColourPop Press Powder Blush and Highlighter in Double Play. This is what the packaging looks like and you open it up and you get these two colors. This highlight right here is calling my name. Oh yeah. I like this color but I do want a little bit more of a gold. This is a little bit more on the silver side. I'm going to use Kiko Milano 208 Eyeshadow and yes this is an eyeshadow but you can use it as a highlight. Still not coming up like I'm picturing it. Just like that. Now we can move on to applying. Uh, we'll do lashes. I'll be trying out the Ardell Faux Mink lashes. I featured these in my PR haul in my last vlog that I did. Now that my lashes are on, I'm gonna blend my natural lashes with my falsies using this Lancome. Grand Royce Extreme Mascara and it's so pretty look it's like a matte black mascara so I'm gonna use this one I've heard good things about this mascara oh look let's go a different wand so I'm just gonna do a little bit just to blend them together I need to try this mascara on its own though for sure and then on the lower lashes all I'm doing is running some of my bronzer underneath and then we're gonna pop on some mascara too Before applying my lip color and my setting spray, I'm going to go ahead and change my top spray. So for lip color, I do want to do a bright red. You can most definitely do a more neutral color, a more glowy color if you would like. Honestly, how my lips look right now, I would even go out like this. Just keep it very simple and glowy. Just throw on a lip gloss or a chapstick or something. But if you want a little bit more glam or you want to add a little bit more of that Hollywood glam effect, you can do a red lip. So that's what I'm going to do. Okay, so since this is a prom video, I wanted to do a little prom giveaway. So 
three lucky winners are going to be winning a pair of J Adams heels or shoes and all of the rules for the giveaway are going to be down below in the description box so make sure to check the description box if you want to enter the giveaway and you can wear these shoes for prom of course or you can wear them I mean it's a free pair of shoes you can wear them anywhere the shoes are going to be chosen but of course they're going to be in your size and everything i just want to show you guys one of the styles of j adams shoes so this is like a really glittery gold color i also featured a pair of zoo shoe shoes in my um last prom video definitely make sure to enter the giveaway if you want to win a free pair of shoes for prom as always thank you all for watching and if you enjoyed the video give it a thumbs up I love you all and I will see you in my next video.